Hi guys, I'm Chris Dalton from Pick Up Bushcraft and thanks for joining me on this video today. Um, what I've come out here to do today is basically since the last time I've done a video I've bought a few things and I just wanted to do a couple of reviews on them. One of the things that I bought was this axe and I've got the rest of the stuff in my bag here but I've just been using this so I think we're going to do a review on this one first. And what it is, it's just a small sort of hand axe, hand axe, really. And when I bought it, it wasn't particularly sharp at all, so I've sharpened that up. And it seems to have held a decent edge. I mean, I've only been chopping really small things yet now but I'm going to use this in a minute to carve a spoon um, one or two things I seen when I bought after I bought it which I wouldn't say I was concerned about but I was a bit uh, thinking about them one doubt you'll be able to see in the camera but on the top of it, if I tilt it, you might be able to see a there's like a resin in the top here, probably about oh half about five milli thick. You can just about see the bubbles in it there, um, and if that comes out the bottom of the handle, so I don't know how strong that'll be. Put that on there, but it doesn't seem to wobble. It's not really loose. I bought this, even though I had one already, which was just slightly smaller than this, was because it's wooden handled, it's a bit lighter, even though it's slightly larger, it's about that much bigger overall. So, the other ones maybe that big. Um, but it's quite a lot lighter, and because it's got a hickory handle on it, if, should this break, should this break, I'll be able to make a new one pretty easily for it. Whereas my other one had a metal handle, sort of like a hammer, and they're hollow and you know, with hard use, they can break. And that's just something that I didn't really want to be worrying about while I was out. So, bought this one, and this one was around about the same price as the other one. It was only really cheap. I think, if I remember correctly, it was either eight or nine pounds. So. You know, if it does break and or it stops taking an edge, I haven't lost too much money on it really. 